John. He's not Hello. here. Hello. God, that was loud. Somebody has subscribed. Maybe it did. It's not that the man did not know how to juggle, he just didn't have the balls to do it. Oh, God. Okay, we'll just assume that this works fine then. That's uh, interesting because you, you sound completely fine on stream, like good quality, but on Discord you sound absolutely terrible. Are you sure I'm not just using a different mic? It could be, yeah. <laughs> on stream it says I'm using the head, the Bluetooth. But on Discord it says I'm using the Bluetooth as well. That's most mysterious. Maybe Discord is just being crappy. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I can swap back to the other one, but as long as you can hear it, that's fine. Can you tell Novi not to misspell my name? Uh, Novi... Wait, what does she type? J O H. Oh, well, firstly, it's not H. H. Yeah, Secondly, yeah, um, yeah, it's just John without an H. But good afternoon, Novi. Hello. You're going to go eat yourself for more. That's not healthy. Anyway, happy afternoon. I hope it's not too hot where you guys are. It's pretty hot here, so I have my tower fan behind me. And um, I'm, for some reason, wearing a chef's hat and an apron to keep myself even warmer. So that's good. But uh, yes, the plan is today to do a lasagna. I have all the things that we need, which is unusual. Normally, I forget at least one thing, which I did. But it doesn't matter because it was a salad. And salad is optional. So at this time, we'll just do a bit of salad as well. But um, thank you very, 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 very much, Odson, for the 13 months. I really appreciate that. Very kind. Welcome back. I hope your afternoon is not too hot, but it is here. John was chastising me because apparently it's not that hot, but it's quite, it's all relative. It's hot compared to what we're used to in England. England. Anyway. It's 27 degrees. It's not that hot. I bet it's more than that. I don't know how to tell. There's probably a bit of somewhere. Or you could check on your phone, I suppose. That's how you did it. I did. Right, so I've moved the welcome a bit, which hopefully will give you guys a slightly better view of the stove, since much of lasagna is done on the stove. Um, but hopefully we have everything. So, John is just going to basically read me the recipe, because that way I can look at chat better. And I'm going to trust him, and he's going to help me actually correctly chop an onion this time. I'm not which... actually going to read you anything, because I don't actually have the recipe, and it's going to tell you what to do. You DM me the recipe. Oh, you didn't, no, did you? I DM'd you the ingredients. Oh, so we don't actually have a recipe. Okay. No, the recipe is entirely in my head. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? That's that's great. How many times have you made this? Like 20, 30. That's a lot of lasagna. Okay, sure. Um, so we begin with the onion. Because I, when I used to make spaghetti bolognese, I always began with the onion. No, you don't. Uh, you want to get your beef, and you want to put it in the wok, and then you want to start cooking it. Right. Do I have to chop the beef? Uh, no, just put the beef in the pan and then you want to get like a, a spoon and just poke it until it's in, you know, lasagna sized bits of meat. Lasagna sized bits of meat. Right. That seems fair. Cooking with, it's cooking with Alistair and his advisors. Also, if you move the wok onto the thing on the stove nearest to you, then it can be yeah. seen on the stream. Yeah, this is the one I'm going to be using. Hang on. Yeah, that okay. It has seen better days. It has seen better days, but I don't often use it. Right, so we're going to put the meat in. Do I have to just use a spoon to break it apart? I mean, that makes yeah. sense, doesn't it? Right, so we'll just get a nice plastic spoon. Yeah, the non-stick is not quite as non-stick as it once was. That's very true. Yeah, so basically put, put your meat in and beat it. Beat it? That sounds very violent, doesn't it? I'm just pulling the paper off the bottom. I once for when I first did spaghetti bolognese, I forgot to take the paper off the bottom. That was a <laughs> foolish mistake. <laughs> Very important part of the process. It looks like it's still a bit frozen, but that's fine, I guess. It's a little bit, but it's been defrosting for like two and a half hours, so. It'll defrost once you start cooking it. I would, have, I would hope so. 
Otherwise, something has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> anyway. Right. Hey, Sniper. Hello, ma'am. My apron is coming apart at the back. That's no good. Everything I pretend that I'm not pieces. wearing shorts. Right. So, do I want heat? I think that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah. You want, like, medium heat. Medium heat. It's on medium heat, but it's on the smallest hob bit. Okay. But your, your hob is really strong, so leave it on medium for now. Right, okay. I'm not because... going to be able to break it apart for a bit. It's got to do for us. Okay, because usually I do it on high heat, but I know how to cut an onion, and there's some timing involved in this part. Yes. Well, we'll leave and it. I feel like, yeah, the next half an hour might be you cutting an onion. Yes, well, that's good. It's going to take longer to cut than normal, and I'm going to take longer to chop an onion than normal. So that's yeah. fine. Okay, so get your onion. I have the onion. And get a sharp knife. A sharp knife. A serrated yeah. sharp knife or an unserrated sharp knife? An unserrated Un knife. Unserrated because it's not bread. That is an astute observation. So this time, they're nice, aren't they? Right. So we chop off the pointy end. Yeah. OK. It fell. It, it, it escaped me. And then you chop perpendicular to that, right? Yeah, so oh, down, yep, yeah, and I just saw you drop it. It's, I didn't drop it, it flew <laughs> away. Okay, it is now chopped. Now I peel the skin away. Yep, yeah, peel the skin away, but you just leave the root bit there. Sure. So far, this is going much better than the last time we chopped an onion together. Because Which you ignored my advice difficult. last time. I didn't ignore it. I did the opposite of it. I couldn't do the opposite of it if I hadn't known about it in the first place. That is true. Yeah. So do we want all the onion? I think we do, don't we? Yeah, sure. Why not? It'll take ages for the meat to, you know, break apart into little bits of meat. And defrost, yeah. Yes, exactly. What well, do you I can see something. I can see some steam coming out, so I guess it's doing something. I would hope so. I'm going to flip it. It's flipped. It'll be a. It'll be broken apart in no time. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. Cut me, Daddy. Jesus Christ, no! <laughs> I can't say that. All right. So I've got the two halves in. What now, sir? Okay, so put the onion so that it's face down on the chopping board and you have a flat bit. Yeah. And um, basically, you want to start cutting in. Um, I'm not sure that's fully deep skinned. Okay, now it is. It is now, yeah. Don't worry, I'm all over it. So you want to start cutting in basically um, lines starting from not the root, up to the end of the root, just into slices. But as you slice it, it'll become cubes. What? Do I slice it in the same direction as its its lines, or in the opposite direction of the lines? Because you're making cubes. So horizontally across the webcam. Um, no, so hold on to the root, and then you want to be cutting the other end in lines. Well, the the root. Okay, I forget which. Right, like this. I mean, there's a delay, so I'll just wait. Yeah, sure. Right. Um, hey, this knife is fine. Is it meant to be staying in one piece? Because it's not. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, meant to not cut all the way down, are you? I remember okay. that. Oh, well, it, it falls to pieces if I do that. OK, then what? The other way? Is it now cubes? Uh, it's not cubes. So I've only cut it one way. Look at it the other way. Yeah, I mean, it can't be cubes until yeah. I cut it both ways, surely. I think I missed a step because I got confused, but you know, just carry on. I I'll, think I'll you tell did you. miss a step. Yeah. I'll tell you what to do with that. I've only one. cut it once. I think, I think three times are required for a cube. Yeah, but now it's cubes looking good. Okay, I like big, big bits of onion, to be honest. I always have, so not too fast. Yeah, this is looking all right. It's Kind of make cubes. I just need to break it apart. Yeah. I'm just going to check on the meat real quick. Yeah, it's looking a bit smoky.
You didn't mention putting oil in. I'm assuming oil was not necessary. No, oil is not necessary. It makes its own oil, doesn't it? In a way. Is it possible to break it up yet? Uh, not yet, almost. It's kind of coming to pieces now. That was a bit like a barbecue. I like that. Barbecues are great. One of the best parts of summer is just walking around and just smelling other people's barbecues, and then you kind of want to have your own, but you don't. You just get annoyed. It's actually not that great. Sounds amazing. Yeah, I know, right? It's it's almost there. It's kind of a little bit solid in the middle, but we'll leave it. Right. So now we do the other half of the onion. Yes. In the same way as before. No. No. This time, um, cut towards the root, but not all the way to the end. So just keep on making cuts, but don't you know cut all the way. Towards so you want to cut all the, way, all the way through down, but you want to not cut through to the root. So imagine the root is the anchor, and they're just going to make little cuts all the way through. Other way, other way. Like, or like this. So towards the root, your knife wants to be cutting towards the root. Like this. Yeah. And not all the way th not all the way through, just you know towards the end. Okay. Well not so cut to the bottom but not the end. Yeah. Ooh, I think I just headbutted the mic stand. Okay, then what? The other way? Yeah, and now holding onto the root, now you can cut it into cubes easily and it should stay together. I hope so. I'm not crying either. Why Why does it not make you cry if you cut it one way? I have no idea. They never make me cry. It's because you're in Germany. They don't have emotions. They got siphoned out. Yeah. All right, that, that seems to have worked. I'll just break it apart, but that's lots of onion. Yeah, okay. Now you know how to cut an onion. Good job. I will definitely remember that all the time until next time. <laughs> Subscriber! <gasps> Thank you so much, Askelad. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the three months. Welcome back. This is the chemical. Oh, it's near the stem. Oh, okay. Uh, he's in Hamburg. Am I allowed to dox you? Yeah, no okay. everyone knows where I live. Hamburg is my doorstep. Quickly. Thank you so Thank much. You my, for the three yeah, exactly. You're the lasagna guy. Hey, Ritz, to get on Discord. Yeah, come and help That's us. Me. Come and help John basically keep his sanity watching me make food that he has made 20 times that I'm probably going to fuck up one second. Ugh. Okay. So is it garlic next? I forget. Uh, what do we just do? The onion? Oh, no, you want the, the bell pepper next. All right, I'm just quickly breaking up the rest of the meat. It should start cooking nicely. Bell pepper. I'm assuming you knew how to cut one of those. You didn't tell me. We, when we went through the ingredients, you didn't mention a bell pepper. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, like 10 minutes ago, you didn't. One red pepper. One red pepper. I will check, but it's possible I forgot that. It wouldn't matter though, because pepper's, pepper's awful. It's. <laughs> no, come on, pepper's awful. You know it is. It's like one of the requirements for a lasagna. Like it makes it taste lasagna I'm trying to remember if I ordered one with the Tesco order. The pepper was the alternative to mushroom. I, I was fine with mushroom and the other thing you did. Is it a big red pepper? Yes. Then I have a bell pepper. Can I ring it by hitting it with a spoon? Yes, that's how they work. Ding a ling a ling. Okay, I have the pepper. Uh, wash it under the tap. Under the tap. Gotcha. Got a big green penis thing coming out the top. Yes. Don't worry, you will detach the penis thing from it. Lovely. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? Like a kind of nap. The, the erection of nature. 
do you know how to handle the erection of nature? No, I, I never, I never got that manual. I'm afraid. So you've never cut one of these open before? I don't handle peppers. I don't like pepper. I'll eat it if it's okay. part of something. Go on, then. educate so you just me. Want to, you just want to cut off the top, so cutting through it just below the green thing. Hey, okay. The, the entire top. Hang on, I wasn't listening. Sorry. I've made lasagna before, cake. I just don't make it often. But I have made it a few times before. It's actually one of my most successful previous cooking streams. Sorry, cut the green thing. What? To so just cut through the cut off the entire top of the pepper. How much? How much should I give it? Like a centimeter? So, like, basically, your knife wants to be going just below where the root is, where the green thing is. Yeah. All right, like I can do that. I have successfully decapitated the pepper. Which is now. Okay, now if you now, if you look in the pepper, you should see like the the whites, um... the whites of its eyes. Yeah, and basically, just use your knife to cut away the the three white parts. Hang on, and I'm just, pull them out. Just dealing with a cow again. I won't be long. It's almost like at the point now where I'd consider it cooked, except for the bits that aren't. You know. Mhm. Mm Get in there nicely. Well, the good thing about the sun yet is that you want to kind of overcook the beef a bit. Yeah, fair enough. Much less worrying when you can see the insides of all of it as well than when you make something in the oven. But I have a meat thermometer now, so that's good. Yeah, yeah you but... don't need it. You know, I know, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm glad that you managed to finally be able to afford one. I had to save up for a year to buy that meat thermometer, you know? Yeah. A year! I... I recently bought one too, and now I'm, you know, barely able to afford food for a month. You make more money doing nothing than I do doing everything. Uh, it's I'm true. Not saying you do nothing, but you do get paid a lot for doing nothing. Everything. Okay. Uh, I have the decapit. Oh, it looks a bit like a. I don't know. What do I do with this? Yeah. So cut away the insides. The the bits that aren't the outsides. You just cut through the the, the white bits at the edge. Sure, that seems reasonable. Are they not edible um, or are they not tasty? And I'm just not tasting them, just put out, put out the, the insides. Like gutting a fish? Yeah. I've never gutted a fish, so that's not a very good kind of comparison, but have I, have I gutted it enough yet? Yeah, and then just sort of rinse the inside out with water too so you get all the seeds out. Right, okay. And it looks like you've done okay with that. I think I have. It even smells like pepper. I could drink out of this. You could. Is there a hole? There's a leak in the bottom, but that's probably not a big problem. That's fine. You're probably not going to be drinking out of it much. I hope not. I can imagine it's very, very kind of visceral cake. I can imagine. Right, what do I do with the pepper? Uh, cut it into quarters and then just cut it into one centimeter thick. Um, segments. What is you say? Yes, yeah, so a quarter. It. Like from the top. Mm -hmm. Are you just drinking alcohol right now? Uh, no comment. Oh, it's actually not I've been coming right. And then what? I've been I've playing. I've been playing, I've been playing, playing League of Legends. Legends. Sorry, yeah. I need alcohol to cope. That's, yeah. That's fair. Okay. What well, after mm -hmm. the quarters? Uh, just cut it into one centimeter thick slices. Slices. Yeah, segments. You can do it how you want, to be honest. All right. S we'll since you're in creative mode, this is the part where you can be creative. I have to be in creative, because if I'm in IRL, we'll get a bunch of idiots asking me where my cleavage is. And nobody seems to know whether you're meant to stream IRL for cooking or this, so it seems creative, since I modify all my recipes with competence. OK. I need a bigger chopping board. I could just use the other mm. side of this one. I think some of these are quite big. Should I halve the ones that are quite big? Or are, you, are we meant to be putting them into little, kind of cutting them again? It's, well, I would say it's fine, but you're cutting it in the wrong way, but it's fine. You told me to cook it, cut it how I wanted. Yeah, and the way you chose was the wrong way. <laughs> well, yes, but you know me. I will do things the wrong way. That's how it works. It was just a to see, to see what you do. I'm not like a science experiment. <laughs> kind of. Uh... Are you implying in my streamer just watching me to see how I fuck up? 
That's yes. outrageous. Well, if it makes me a living, then that's fine. A subscriber. Thank you so much, Ice, for gifting a sub to Bob. That's very, very kind. The towel shouldn't drop. It's, it's perfectly balanced this time. Thank you very, very much, Ice. That's really kind of you. I hope that you win all your Siege games today. Oh, right. The mince is getting there now. Do we have pepper or we have onion? How marvellous. What is next, sir? Uh, cut the garlic clove into small, very small bits. Once you've, Do you know how to cut garlic? Uh, it's been a long time since I cut garlic. I've got one clove here. I meant to peel the skin off, right? Uh, yep, and that's easier if you just cut off the very, very sides of it first. Sides of it? Yeah. Oh, uh, the other sides, but that's fine. Wait, hang on. I don't want to yeah, cut my finger. Just, just peel it, that's fine. I don't want to cut my finger because then I'll get banned. So I've got to be careful with this. I have never cut myself while cooking, so I'm sure you'll be fine. You've also probably never done a lot of the terrible things I've done while cooking. Mm, true. Probably never like made yourself cry cheese grating an onion. And yet no, here that'd we are. Be, that'd be crazy. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? Sure, I got this. I'm all over it. Yeah, I've peeled it. It's now garlic, but without the skin. Good Naked job. garlic. Now what? Now just into cut little it. cubes, right? Yeah, cut it into the smallest bits you can. That seems reasonable. And I like garlic a lot as well. Stir your meat every so often. I yeah, I, I just stirred it, don't you worry. Okay. I love how Ritsu's yelling at me, but she could just be in voice yelling at me. What if that two second delay stops me cutting off my finger, Ritsu? Wouldn't you feel terrible? Wouldn't you You're implying that she has emotions. She has emotions? She's Irish. Why I do you think they Irish drink? didn't have emotions. No, German don't have emotions. Irish drink their emotions away. I'm pretty sure the Germans drink their emotions away. Well, that's just you. You drink your emotions away. But you're not yeah, but German. the Germans. The, the Germans are currently coping with having a really bad football team. I don't understand what's happened. I thought we were shit at football, and then somebody told me that we'd actually won most of ours, and I thought, what? Yeah, we won the two games against like two of the worst opponents you could have. Yeah. And now everyone's really happy and thinking, oh yeah, England's certainly going to win, but we're not. Oh, yeah, I don't really care who wins, to be honest. It'd be nice if England does. It's an excuse to buy a can of Pringles, you know? Is it? Uh, well, yeah. They buy one, get one free nearby. All right, these are in little bits. You don't get buy one, get one free in Germany. Do you not? You get no. What, what? Seriously? There's no special offers at all in any supermarket. No, you're joking. No. Nope, What's the special. point in shopping? Like, special offers are firstly the only reason that anything is affordable, and secondly, special. fun. Special offers are fun. No. Nope. The fun. The Germans, Germans don't have fun shopping. But what? You just everything is just a price. Yes, and you buy it. That's terrible. That's no fun the at only, all. Only way you get stuff cheaper is if it's past its best before date. Maybe that's what they do here. They just disguise it as buy and get one free. Maybe. That's I can't I actually quite like looking at special offers. Maybe I'm weird. I, I enjoy it. For me it's enjoyable. <laughs> I I lit I have a sad life, alright? Don't judge me. I never judge you. There's not a lot to do in Somerset except look at special offers and talk to cows and sheep. Alright, so I've got the garlic and the pepper and the onion. Yeah. Now we wait for the meat to finish cooking. One on top of the knife and one on top of the handle. Oh, what, like this? Oh, okay. I will try and remember that. I'm just glad I didn't draw blood, to be honest. Yeah, well, the, I could have just moved this stuff off the chopping board, but that would have made far too much sense. So we won't do that. So I'll put the rest of the garlic away, shall I? We don't need that anymore. Mm, yeah, you can put it away. Look at me being neat and efficient. 
very German of you. Uh, yeah, sure. Go with that. So when do we add the sauce? Is that after the veggie tables? Yes. Right. Is is the meat mostly? It's no all there's, red? there's not much red left at all now. It's almost entirely brown. Okay. So and you can probably... put everything on. You can put everything in, in the chopping board in with the meat now. Even the knife. Yes, definitely the knife. The knife. Well, I have to get another knife then, won't I? That's what adds to the unique taste of the sandwich. This nice also design. trains you to be a, a sword swallower as well. Don't do this yeah. at home, guys. I'm probably not even allowed to joke about this stuff, but probably shouldn't put knives into food unless you're cooking the food. And then turn up the heat a tiny bit. Turn up the heat, yeah. Like what action heroes say in movies, it's time to turn up the heat. And then they just kill everyone with one bullet because it bounces off of all their foreheads. Then wouldn't kill them. You should do what Blackburn said too and make sure all the meat is nicely broken up into small pieces. I have. I've been doing that. It's it's almost as small as it was when it was inside the cow. And give it a nice yeah stir and let everything fry for a bit. It is frying. It's we'll, we'll leave it there on a temperature. There we go. What okay. is next? Why is it too? Why is it too always on? You wait for a few minutes while it cooks. Two working plates, one for trash. Ah, well, yeah, I should probably just have like a an area, but I could get rid of this now, shouldn't I? Just keep this place clean. Ah, right. So put this disappear for a second. So is the rest of the top of the pepper technically edible, just nobody bothers with it? It's technically edible, but I don't bother with it. Okay. Right. You'll want to get the red sauce and the pesto nearby. I have them nearby. They're already next to the camera. I'm prepared. Okay. Exactly, Grimlock. <laughs> Good. Oh, hey, a so. subscriber. Thank you, Aja. Very, very Hello much. Hello at Alistair and chat. Good afternoon. I really appreciate the three months. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome back to you. Okay, marvelous. So that's cooking and frying. We have the pesto, the pesto sauce? Red pesto, yes. And the dolmio lasagna sauce. Look, that's that. That's that. Together, they're like Bill and Bob, the lasagna men. All right, what do we do with that? How's the, 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 the meat and the onion looking? Is it a bit brown? The onion's not brown yet, no. It's getting oh. slightly browner. Okay, stir it a bit more now. It's very hot here. It's 27 degrees. Yeah, that's more than 26. That is accurate, but it's also less than 28. Yeah, but your face. All right, am I putting the sauce in yet? Are we waiting for the onion to cook? Wait for the onion to cook. I swear, when I used to do spaghetti bolognese, I think I did the onion first and then added the beef, but I don't remember. That would have been with defrosted beef, though. But the beef takes a lot longer to cook than the onion. Oh, does it? Well, then maybe mm -hmm. I'm right. It was a long time ago I did that. The onion usually cooks in like yeah. a minute or two. Fair enough. So what's the main difference? Because I've always used like hard lasagna sheets. What is what is the difference between fresh in terms of uh, fresh is what posh people use. Is it better and it just doesn't last as long or, or what? It's just better. Yeah. Why is it better? It tastes better. Oh, it, ta it tastes different. Is it? OK. Interesting. Okay, the onion's starting to go a little bit golden, so that's good. Okay, then you can add the um, red sauce. Uh, both of it, or just the lasagna sauce? Just the lasagna sauce first. All of it? Yeah. All right, it's going in. It's like lava mm -hmm. seeping from a volcano. And you want to put basically everything in. Don't, have, don't leave anything at the bottom. I am... Um, be be I'm, not wasteful. I'm hitting the bottom. 
Get a spoon should've... and get it all out. A spoon? I can't get a spoon in there. Like a, a teaspoon or a, a teaspoon. This this is longer than a teaspoon. Do you see the flaw in that? I should have put on the um, the Gordon Ramsay alerts for this, and then cause I had some. I had a set of alerts for Gordon Ramsay, but the thing is, they don't have any of the new graphics. Okay, that is basically all in. I've shaken it. Now, so that's I, red to me. I'll give it a good stir. It's. Fu- You're like mum. Oh, that marmalade's not finished yet because there's That's still at least nice. one atom of marmalade still in it. So we can't start the new marmalade because there's still enough marmalade in the old marmalade if you spent three hours scraping the marmalade out. We're not starting the new marmalade until the old mar- marmalade's finished. Well, who likes marmalade anyway? Everyone likes marmalade. What the fuck? Marmalade's <laughs> disgusting. Are you actually out of your mind? You who would, who would prefer marmalade over jam? Thick, thick cut marmalade. Disgusting. Oh, Seville. Oh my god. Thick cut marmalade is so nice. Someone that doesn't like cheese has no say in anything food related. No, that's not. Marmalade is so nice. You don't like cheese. How do you guys. Yeah, marmalade's great. What the fuck? Okay, now what? Uh, Turn down the heat. I'm turning it down. It's down. We've saved it. Add about two thirds of the bread pesto. About two thirds. Okay. Yeah. Red pesto smells really nice, by the way. Yes. What is it made out of? Herbs and oil. Herbs and oil, right? <laughs> well, that's that's one of the most specific answers I think I've ever gotten. Were you here it last night the... during my stream? Um, no. Homo de Venga and Hannah were trying to explain that a hundred Mondays is 700 weeks which is about 14 years apparently okay and i had to spend about 10 minutes using ms paint explaining why that that was incorrect hello yeah but you surround yourself with these kind of people who i don't surround my thing. i'm a streamer they surround <laughs> me i don't know i'm not like hey guys form a protective circle of mathematic incompetence I don't, I don't appreciate this idea that I attract people. Right. But just, but just look at all your mods. Thank you, Citizen, for the follow. Look, all my mods know there's Libby and now for more. Apart from that, there's relatively... Well, no, actually, was it Ritsu or Libby that was an insult to mass? I think it was Ritsu, actually. Libby is wrong in other ways. Maybe it's no, relatively Ritsu, okay. Ritsu can't do mass either. <laughs> yeah, that's friends, though, Mr. X. My viewers, I have no control over my viewership. We attract who we attract. Right, now what? Okay, so if you're making a real lasagna. This is a real lasagna. If you're making a real lasagna, at this point, you would turn the heat completely down. You would add some wine, you'd add some more tomato sauce, and you'd let it simmer for three to four hours. However, since you don't have the stamina to do a four hour cooking stream, <laughs> we will skip that step. <laughs> four hours? <laughs> I could add some tango. Yes. Please don't add tango. I'm not going to add tango. Maybe some Fanta. Fanta is the same as tango. You know that in Germany, some people actually try and make cakes out of Fanta. I mean, the cakes don't end up very nice, but they try. I, I'm not surprised. Maybe they should use marmalade instead, which is used in cooking. Yeah, a lovely orange flavor. I think they should cake. just make lemon cakes, but lemon cakes are amazing. Gina and Fanta and tango are the same thing. Hey, Tommy. In before we get the Coke and Pepsi brigade being like, no, they're radically different recipes. Okay. What's next? Okay, what, 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 what heat is the, the sauce currently on? The lowest, what, do you want me to get some? It's on the lowest possible. Okay, put it somewhere between the lowest and the middle since we're not waiting four hours. Yeah, I don't want to wait four hours. And then we'll make the white sauce. Right, what about the rest of the pesto? Is that not going in yet? No, it's not going in at all. You can throw it away. I'll put it in the fridge. Really? I'll put it on toast. Yeah. Right. So the white sauce. Oh, wait. No, we skipped an important step. You should season the, the sauce. Season the sauce? The sauce yeah, is in the mixture now. Oh, you mean all the mix? Right. The whole thing with some salt, some pepper, and then an, an amount of Italian seasoning. An amount of seasoning. Right. 
You're just going to have yes. to guide me using the power of your mind as to how much salt goes into a big pile of meat. Well, put in a bit of salt and a bit of pepper first. A bit of salt and a bit of pepper. Yeah. A few sprinkles. A smidgen. Okay, I've put a bit of salt in. Okay. And how many how many pinches? Oh my god, of... that's so much salt. Stop. Okay, that's fine. It wasn't much. No. It looked it looked like um, it was more than it was. How many pinches? And about a bit less pepper than the salt. Okay, that is done. Okay, and now you want to put quite a bit more than maybe double that amount of Italian seasoning in. Italian, it's called Italian style herb blend, which is basically the same as that. Yep, in Italy, like if you go to the supermarket, they don't have spices or herbs at all. They just have this one thing just called seasoning, and that's what you're putting in now. And I'll put in two lots of that because that actually looks really nice. Yep, and then you can learn like the secret trick to cooking. Once oh, you put yeah. it in, stir, and then get a fork, and then taste it, and then depending on how it tastes, add more or don't. How can I possibly gauge based on one fork lick whether it's like... Is it going to change the, the taste that much? Maybe. Yes. I bet a good cook can just smell. I can actually tell the stream what is in your seasoning because I have a link still. Now, the one you told me to buy, I didn't for some reason. Because I think I had some already. Okay, then it's, never mind. It's basically got the same stuff in. It's got okay. oregano, basil, red bell pepper, marjoram, thyme, rosemary, sage, and pine. Lee, which is probably the same as what yours does. Yeah, so now you've even added more pepper to your pepper. Right, so I don't really care about taking a, a fork test because I have nothing to which to compare it to. So but I'm, just see if, it, see if it tastes good or not. I mean, it will taste, I would say this would taste good no matter what. Well, I would say add a bit more seasoning, but that's me. I like my lasagnas a bit more seasoned because I am a seasoned individual. Listen to Ritzy. I mean, it tastes like there's probably the sauce would. I don't know. What does Ritzy say? If she was in voice. She said, just taste it, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Food rates. It tastes fine. Now what? Okay, leave that cooking on low to medium. Low to medium. It's on low to medium, right. Let's make a white sauce. Yes, get uh, your container. Okay. The cream yeah. fleur. No, get, get get the egg and put the egg into the Why container. Why are you laughing? Put, put the egg in because the container. I'm just imagining that you're just going to put the egg in without you know breaking it because that's what the kind of thing you do. I need some new tricks. <sighs> See, you did it. What? Shut up. Do I want all of it or just the uh, the, the yolk? If you want the whole egg inside. You just told me not to put the whole egg inside. The whole inside of the egg inside. Inside of the inside of the egg, but not the outside yes. of the inside of the egg. No, you don't want the shell. Not the inside of the inside. But the inside and the outside of the inside of the egg. Yes. Right, okay. But not the outside outside. That goes in no. the bin. Right, okay. Do I want to cheese grate the egg? That would provide you an interesting try. texture, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's like whisking it, but you know, using a cheese grater. Thank you for the follow. Love yourself. I appreciate that. Right now, what? Okay, beat it. Like at Scrabble. Yeah. Sure. Let's but using start. German words. Uh, do, do German. I mean, do Germans have Scrabble? Can you actually play Scrabble with German words? Because I feel like you've got a different ratio of vowels and consonants. Probably every language yes. has a different ratio of vowels and consonants. Means there is German Scrabble, yes. But does it have the same distribution of letters, even though you, your your words don't? I don't know. I've never played it. You've never played Scrabble. We should all just play words with your friends. And they have to rename it to that or something. I've never played German Scrabble. We should all just play words with friends. It would be great. I'd have to find space for it on my portable telephone. Because you know my portable telephone. It's an 8 gig model, and I fucked the SD card slot, so I can't put an SD card in it. So I can only actually have about three apps on my phone that aren't like authenticators. And there's literally nothing I can do about that. Even if I buy the same phone again, it's like 80 quid. So, never, moral of the story is never fuck up your SD card slot. 
There's actually a very long wiki page about the di different distributions of letters in the different languages for Scrabble. Fuck it with one hand like a pro, no. I'd end up with so much... Crack. 14 months pog champ time flies. It does. Mimo, thank you very much for the 14 months. It was very, very kind of you. I hope you have a good afternoon. Thank you. Oh, we could do a, we could do a cake voice next time, couldn't we? I'm always happy to be, to be told, if you've got a recipe cake that you'd want to walk me through, I would be entirely up for that. As long as it's something moderately easy and affordable, I would happily be walked through a recipe because I want to get better at cooking, basically. That's the purpose of these streams, is to get, for me to get better at cooking. Right, what next? Put the cram fresh into the bowl. Okay. I would Mr. X, but they tend to cost huge amounts of money, and I don't use my phone very much. How, how Was well that can... a large egg? Yeah. Okay. How well can you see the mixture? Fine. You can, can well, you? It can't, yeah. doesn't have much on it. Okay, do I put all the fresh in or just some of it? All the fresh. The creme fleur. Yeah. It's very viscous. Come out easily. Like a turtle with a shell. Give it some encouragement. I'm encouraging it. Oh, yes, you've got this. Yes, here we go. Yeah. I'm leaving. Yeah, no. It's out. It's out. It's free. It's now free. stir it with like an egg. a butterfly in a tower. Uh, stir it. Yeah. Can I use a fork for stirring, or should I just get a spoon? It's completely up to you. Well, I will save washing up and use the fork. We have a dishwasher. Yeah, but it's. Cool. I normally just wash up after cooking streams. No, I'm going to use a spoon. This is not working at all. <laughs> what would you recommend then? Can't stir with a fork. Outrageous. It's kind of all different consistencies, so it's not actually me meshing together very well. You want to turn the sauce down a bit more, by the way. It is down. How? What's the consistency of the sauce? Is it still running at all? It's not that running, no. It's about what I would consider it to be correct. OK. For a spag bowl, anyway. That's, that's fine if we keep on going. Hang on. Did, did cake say anything? Ooh, OK, great. So why does wine make it take three more hours? It doesn't, it's just that you add a lot more tomato sauce and wine and stuff and then you let it simmer until the, right. all the, the liquid is gone and then that takes many, many hours for the taste to lock in. Why do you want to get rid of the liquid? Doesn't it end up quite dry? I mean, you don't really want lots of liquid in this, Anya. At least oh, okay. not this recipe. Did you just gift a sub to somebody? Me? No, never. Wait, is that, is that her? The one that watched my stream, or is that a random person that we don't know yet? Uh, it's completely a random person. Are you sure? Yeah. We'll see about that. Thank you for gifting a sub to them, though. That's very kind. Very, mm, very. I picked someone, that, I picked someone at random from the list of people watching. How do you know if they're subs or not? Because it tells you. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you. Okay, this is what I would consider stirred. Yeah. Oh, you're still stirring, huh? Um, add like a tiny bit of milk. Okay. How much is a tiny bit? Uh, a bit more than a smidgen. That's horrific. I've put a tiny bit in. I'm watching. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Okay. I'm going to stir it some more. I'm going to adopt my stirring pose. Yeah. I need to wash this apron, actually. I better do that today. All right, this is now stirred. Okay, uh, yeah, get your get your dish, your final dish. My final dish. Yes. The one that we're hoping is big enough, but I'm not convinced yeah. will be. Okay. We could just do a bigger one for safety, but I don't know. There's quite. I, I reckon we'll be okay. I might have a picture of the sunny that I made when I was there. I'm wearing I'm shorts because it's so hot. I've actually had to move my power fan in here just to make the stream workable. Otherwise, I would have literally cancelled it. So hot here. 
27 degrees. Look, this is elitism. <laughs> is this going to be big enough or not? Hang on, I'm just looking for the picture of the one that I made. For all you guys know, I'm not wearing anything under this apron. I mean, I am, but... Besides, if heat stroke is anything like it is in RimWorld, it's absolutely fine unless you also have an infection and then you instantly die. Okay, you want the glass dish, not the white one. The glass the dish. Glass one. Right. Yeah. I did wonder. That way we can see the layers from underneath, like taking a segment of rock. Now what? Okay, put half of the sauce in the to there. The the main sauce. Yes, the red sauce. I'll take the heat off now. Yeah, sure. Okay. So this in this one, there's actually no cheese in the cheese sauce. It's just creme fleurage. Yes, because it's not a cheese sauce. So, how many layers sauce. are we doing then? Because I feel like we don't have. Uh, are we not going to have too many sheets? Yeah, we'll have too many sheets, but if you bought one packet of sheets, then that wouldn't have been enough, so you bought two. Okay. Because I like wasting food. So, how long do the oh. sheets last? Because they don't last that long if they're fresh, do they? I don't know. I guess it'll show you on the packet. I'll have to make some more then, won't I? Should I freeze it? Probably not. You probably shouldn't freeze that. So what, I'm I putting half, not. half of the sauce, half, like, half of it. So we're only going to have two, two layers. No, we're going to have four layers. Well, five layers, actually. But half of the red sauce. Doesn't it go sauce, pasta, cheese, sauce, pasta, cheese? No. No? My world no. is crumbling. Okay, I'm going to put half the sauce into the dish. Yes. I trust you. If it splashes onto the webcam, that's going to be really funny. I mean, you literally ate this lasagna and enjoyed it. Oh yeah, no, no, well not this one, the one you made. Yes, but this is, that's the same recipe. I would not assume that it's going to be the same. It's the exact same recipe. Yeah, but I've done it. Do you see the difference? True. Plus I used wine when I made it for you. And I appreciated it. Right, I've put this in, I'm going to flatten it. Yes, flatten it. Pepper, the pepper's huge, but I don't mind. It's meant to be. This is going to be so much nicer than a ready meal lasagna, oh my god. I'm so used to that. Yeah. I don't have to show anymore, but I, I used to have a lot of ready meals down this just because they're so convenient. But this is going to be so much better. Right, that's it. Now what? Now add a layer of the pasta. How many sheets is that, do you reckon? I don't know. Put one in and see how much it covers. That's a good way of doing it. Trial and error. I have no idea how big your sheets are. You told me that, sure, if you didn't know how big the sheets were, then why did is you know that, that I needed one one packet? Because I assumed that one packet wouldn't be enough. I think one packet's going to be enough, but I can always freeze the other one. You could. I'm going to sell it on eBay. I'm, I'm fine, I didn't struggle with that. Okay. So they, they have come with sheet in... Right, so do you think I should put these like... These are entirely the wrong shape. That's fine, you can tear them. That's that's the nice thing about soft the sand there. Sheets is that they're easy to tear. If you had to pick between being slightly too narrow and slightly too wide, what would you pick? These aren't really know. wide enough to cover it, you know? It doesn't matter at all. You can really just tear them with your fingers. I can show off like I'm some kind of big man. All right, I'm this gonna... is the easiest part. No, this is, this is a nightmare. It's like, you know... Everything could go wrong here. I'm going to have loads of little bits of lasagna left. I'm just going to put them on top because I don't, I don't mind a double layer of lasagna at all. I love lasagna. It's my favorite type of pasta. It doesn't pair well in this direction. We meant to fold it first and then it tears. Yeah, but I didn't. Right, I've done that. <laughs> we, we definitely don't need the other packet of pasta. Okay. You don't have that them in Germany. Steve says he doesn't have them in Germany, but you live in Germany. Tell him he's wrong. Uh, what doesn't he have? Fresh lasagna sheets. Uh, they used to be in my local Edeka, but they don't have them for the last month or two. So I've been using the basic what? Edeka. 
Oh, I mean, I've never heard of fresh. I just thought lasagna was just what you get in the box, the snappy stuff. But this apparently is more expensive and nicer. What's next? Can you can you cover up the missing bit? There's a missing bit? Oh, there's yeah, there's a gap. Oh. Yeah. OK. There you go. Are you OK now? I'm waiting for it to come through. Yes, OK. Now you want to put half of the white sauce over that. There are going to be six layers. You liar. No. Continue. That might be for something more than half, it's fine. If you say so. Fine. Oh, by the way, I think I should have mentioned, but you should have grated the cheese at some point. Well, maybe I did. Good. I I'm, glad, I'm glad that you're prepared. I have everything required to grate the cheese. I just no, haven't done fine. it yet. I've been very oh, busy. Oh, yeah, you, you, want, you want to turn the oven on, by the way. Oh, really? 100, 160 degrees fan. 160? Yes. Because it's already cooked, isn't it, for the most part? Right. Now what? Uh, you, you, you're not going to want to stream while it's cooking, because it takes 40 minutes. Yeah, no, I'll just talk to my chat and take a picture afterwards. That's fine. Um, uh, put another layer of lasagna sheets. Another layer of lasagna? Yes. Not. What is this madness? You another can't go lasagna, lasagna, cheese lasagna, just because you, told me, to buy, just you told me to buy too much lasagna. It's not cheese. <laughs> doesn't mean you can just modify the rest. Okay. It's not cheese. Hey, if you fold it, it breaks instantly. Can you just tell me? Yeah. That? This is how you make a proper lasagna. What, just making random layers? It's not random. This is extremely random. This <laughs> is the least random thing you can have. No, this is like making a cheesecake and having like the strawberries on the bottom and then the base and then the cheesecake, then some more cheesecake and then another base. And with no cheese. Right. Now what? Now... Um, that went slightly better given that I wore it properly. Now put in the rest of the meat. Thank you, Mowgli. It's too hot. The rest of the meat. Yeah. You're just... I heard you thinking then. You're just thinking of random layers. No, it's the entire the entire recipe. I've never written it down. I just make it slightly differently every time I cook the lasagna. It? What do you do? You actually randomize the layer order. No, the, the layer is always the same. But sometimes I add, okay. you know, stuff in. Like sometimes I add bacon or a layer of cheese in the middle. Bacon or something would be like good, that. to be honest. I'd like bacon. Yeah. I'm trying not to melt my webcam wire. But you can make it different every time. So it's quite fun to make. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably vary different types of sauce and vegetables. I'd happily put mushrooms in this. But I've always had mushrooms in lasagna. I, I don't mind mushrooms if they're part of something. Part of something like bigger, you know? Like a movement. Yeah, cheese. I don't mind cheese and stuff. I just don't like eating it, like, with my fingers from the fridge. But that's the best way of eating cheese, is just eating it. What? No, it's not. Then why do you put it in stuff instead of just eating it by itself? Like, it's like when you grate cheese, the cheese becomes twice as nice, so you just eat the grated cheese. No, it doesn't. It does. It's, scientifically, it's a scientific fact that if you grate cheese, it tastes better than if you're eating it, you know. Because it tastes great. Yeah. I don't believe it's a scientific fact. I don't think there it are any is. scientific facts. It is. Look it up What's on next? the internet. Look it up uh, on the I'm internet. Not... <laughs> I'll just look it up on the internet. I'll Add also look up whether or not you can get pregnant from sitting on a toilet seat. Or lasagna, okay. Yeah. I'm going to end up with loads. I could make it like a little mouse lasagna at the end of this. Or a really long, thin lasagna with all these spare bits. Okay. We're down to our last cheat now. I hope this is your last planned layer. As a matter of fact, it is. Do you think I should just put the extra spare bits on top because I don't mind, or should we just throw them away or what? No, because it'll get more dry when it kicks in the oven. All right, this is nice. This is this is actually quite well matched. Their wits. Okay, now what? Now add the rest of the white sauce. The rest of the creme fleur. Yes, the cheese sauce without cheese. Creme flesh is creme flesh is probably cheese on some level. Isn't cheese just all milk? It's all basically the same stuff, but the longer you, you kind of rotate it, the different it becomes. So you go creme fresh is just sword milk, I think. No, sword cream. Sword? Yeah. Like, like a carpenter. Soured, yeah. Soured, yeah. Are you speaking German? 
Or are you just speaking well? German? Just speaking German. Okay. Do just all Germans just speak English then when you address them? Do they like roll their eyes and sigh and say another fucking foreigner? Um, point in their like fucking... Thirty-three percent of Germans happily speak English. Thirty-three percent of Germans um, can't speak English, and the rest uh, can speak yeah, English can but speak. don't want to because fuck you or yeah. think they can't speak English, but they actually can speak the most better English than most English people. But most so... better, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. I'll freeze the other lasagna sheets then. I don't see why not. Right. What's next? Uh, grate the cheese. Okay, I can do that. I think. How much cheese would you say I would need, or is it as much as I like? As much as you want, but you want a fine coating over all the top. Fine coating. How how big a hole should I use? There are various holes. Use whichever hole you wish. Right. This is milk from the milkman, which means it's probably not gone to as many warehouses as normal milk. Sorry, not milk, cheese. This isn't milk. That would be a weird cheese, uh, milk. Yeah. All right. I'll use the big holes, I think. Because they look like they'd make better gratings. I mean, in the end, the only reason you're grating it is so you can enjoy some of the grated cheese before you put it on the No, menu. I'm not going to eat this raw. It's... You should. It's... It's I don't raw. like cheese. I don't it's know. not raw. It's raw. That's why we're putting it in the oven, to cook it. This is cheese in its best form. Yeah, but I don't like cheese. Yeah, but it's grated cheddar cheese. Everyone likes grated cheddar cheese. Everyone is not me. That's not anywhere near... To enough cheese. What? This is loads of cheese. Are you joking? You want like at least three times more than that. Are you three times more than that? I would yes. die of uh, several heart conditions just cooking this if I put that. <laughs> you wouldn't. I don't do want. Un, I'll do, do a little bit more. I'll do a bit no, more. You do it properly. You do it properly. If, you, if you're gonna make my lasagna, you have to do it properly. It's my lasagna. It's nice because it has less cheese in it. <laughs> Said no one ever. Less cheese never ever made anything that tastes nicer. I mean, I could. I mean, it will hey, burn if you. It will burn. If you don't do try and proper, bring proper bullshit science into this, just because you want me to add more cheese. Science. It's cooking. You need to fully cover the sorts of cheese. I don't. If you don't, you're ruining the entire lasagna for you are everyone. Lying to me. For try everyone to more in this dream. They'll just and the say world. whatever you say because they're trolls. They're not trolls. Half of them probably can't even I'm, a pro I'm a professional cook. Listen to you me. You are not a professional cook. I have a certification in cooking Why? and catering. You're a programmer. And? I got it when I went to school. I did three years of catering and got a certification that said I could cook. No, you're like, that's a GCSE. No, it wasn't a GCSE. It was a separate qualification. <laughs> are you making this up? I, I also, don't remember I any also, of this. I also got a GCSE in it, to be fair. You I got a C. You got a C in cooking? So you learned how to spell cooking? Catering. So you learned how to serve food to people? No, catering is creating. This is enough something. cheese. I'm putting the cheese so you away. Need to, if you can see the white sauce, you don't have enough cheese. No, this is so much cheese, John. That you, need, you, you want the entire thing to be covered in cheese. Like the whole point is that the final layer is cheese. But if, if that was all cheese, it would be so bad for you. There's so much cheese it's there. It's not so bad for you. It's about 800 calories per portion. Yeah. And how big of a portion are we meant to be having? A quarter. Quarter? Yeah. All right, I'll do a bit more cheese, but that's all you're getting. I can't believe you're doing this. I can't believe you're making me do this. It's the recipe. You don't have a recipe. You just spent half an hour saying, oh, I don't have a recipe. It's all in my head, which means you can modify it whenever you want. This lasagna has been called the best lasagna in the world by three people. Really? Who? Yes. Do you want their names or what? I want to know that they're not made up. Okay. It was called that by Esther, one of my colleagues. It was called that by Alison, one of my friends. And it was called that by Sarko, Alison's boyfriend. Right. And what? They've all just had lasagna from around the world. Not from around the world, but from at least multiple countries. Uh -huh. how, many countries have, how many countries have you had lasagna from? Probably two. Exactly. 
And if I import it in a ready meal, that's basically the same. Right, this is now entirely covered in cheese, whether you want to admit it or not. I can see why. Gosh, this is fine. If this lasagna turns out not good in any way, it's your fault for running the cheese. It'll be better because it won't have too much cheese in. Yeah, just cover it, cover it up. It'll be fine. You cheese monster. Cheese monster? No, this is good. I've improved your recipe by not over cheesing it. You've ruined my recipe. See, listen to Ritsu. Why do you never listen to Ritsu? Because she says things about maths that make my brain fall out. But you can't even put enough cheese on the lasagna. You're worse than her. What? Yep, I said it. You are worse than Ritsu. She doesn't even eat breakfast. You make bigger life mistakes than Ritsu. Excuse me? <laughs> she still lives in Ireland. <laughs> you can't even make a lasagna with enough cheese. This is adequate cheese. Am I putting it in the oven? Is the oven heated? Yes, it is heated. It's reached 160 degrees fan. Yes. Yes, then put it in the oven for 40 minutes. 40 minutes? 40 minutes. That's going to take ages. Exactly 40 minutes. Something around that. So now yeah, we just... some sometimes when I make this recipe, I put like one layer of cheese on top, which is cheddar, and then I add two more layers of different cheeses. Now that is a good lasagna. I'm amazed you're not dead. Should I just throw away um, these scraps or what? It seems way perfect shape. Perfect shape, yes, throw it away. Right, okay. Bit of a shame. Get a different size dish. All right, I'll, I mean, I don't think we'll be able to drag the stream out 40 minutes. We might be able to if I do washing up and we talk about stuff. It really depends. Get Ritsu in here and she can tell me about my, my, my mistakes. You guys can talk. Oh, we could do the, um, the salad as well, couldn't we? Yeah. But there's not a lot to that, to be honest. Can't you just like keep on calling Ritsu until she picks up? Well, not really, because I'm, I mean, you're the one that can do it. I don't know how. Just call in the group here. But I can't, because you called me, I think. Uh, no, oh, wait, you can, can just click call on the group here. Miss Bev, I'm going to call with you. Yeah, it'll just hang up and call me on the other one. And then Ritsu will feel obliged to join via peer pressure. I added her. Oh, that'll work. Ritsu's playing Fortnite. Oh, yeah, well, that seems fair. All right. Well, I think she can hear us now anyway. Can she? Did she I mean, you can say she's, you can say she's in the call. Are you sure it's not flashing? Because if it's flashing, she hasn't picked up. It's not. It's not flashing. She's just you, a solid circle. Do you think when she plays with Hortre, they talk in the same room or on voice? I don't know. An interesting question. She left. I can't believe this. Terrible person. She doesn't. She clearly doesn't like lasagna. Mm. It's her fault that you didn't put enough cheese on top. Probably. We could have. We could have got Libby, but she's going home today, so she's going to be like. She's not there anymore, you know? Hmm. Ah, uh, right. So this goes over here. Goes there. Now the eggs can go away. So the salad. Remind me what we need for the salad again? I don't know. It's your salad. Yeah, but no, but I put away some of the herbs. This is the, the, the pepper we need, right? And then the oh, vinegar. Salt and, salt and pepper, yeah. Okay, that seems fair. I could eat a cornetto on stream. That would probably annoy loads of people, though, wouldn't it? That's actually a good way, good thing to do. Just sit here casually um, eating a cornetto in front of everyone. I'd get a lot of hate for that. I think I like it. Counter is so messy. It is, isn't it? The sign of a successful meal. A huge mess afterwards. Hmm. The nice thing about the sunny is you get a whole 40 minutes to clean up afterwards. Yeah, I don't think it's going to take that long, but sure. And I could just take a picture at the end and put it on my Discord, and that would work. We could just drag this out for a bit longer. Another I mean, thing 40 minutes. I could play like a whole game of League of Legends in that time. 
What, a win or a loss? A win, because I'll be playing. Do you actually play that game, like, properly? Yeah. Why? I've been playing it for many, many games. It's, but it's, it's worse than Dota. Probably, yeah. Okay. I feel like I, I feel like I had to experience the the worst offer before you know upgrade to Dota. Yeah, I think that's true. It gives you perspective. It'll make Dota seem much better. Hmm. Right. So I'm gonna. It's like this... a casual. It's like a casual game, really. Long. It's like. It's very casual. You can't even deny creeps because that's too complicated for love files, You know. Hmm. Whole idea. This is this is a lasagna. This is salad I made earlier. I made this from individual vegetables that I chopped myself, and I put it into. Oh, wow! A... It even has carrot. Then I put it into a co-op box that I had before and sealed it up to make it look like I just bought it before the stream. Right, and then we're going to want... The thing, the thing about League of Legends is that if you ask someone that actively plays it, you know, if you start playing it, they say, oh no, it takes so long to learn and it's really hard to get into, but actually, you know, you can get into it and be good in like two hours. It's pretty pretty easy. I used to play a fair bit of Dota a long, long time ago, but it does have a like. It's kind of like being a tax. You have to basically learn all the heroes and skills and items and what items work with it, which ability and which abilities stack. And it's got like different types of stun and silence. And then you've got magic and greater magic, and it is ridiculously complicated. But that's only. I don't think you have to know all that stuff to enjoy it. Probably not, no. But it's quite intimidating going up against a hero when you don't know what they can do to you. Quite Part of the fun. Like, can they stun me? No. Okay, good. So, uh, how much white wine vinegar should I put on this? Um, do you add the salt and pepper yet? No. Add the salt and pepper first. I don't know how much. I'll just put a little bit in. Oh, the vinegar tastes... It smells so good. Right, salt and pepper done. Then maybe uh, no, two tablespoons of vinegar and one tablespoon of oil. Well, yeah. Quite a lot. This is slightly smaller than a tablespoon, so I'll just do one. Bit. And then some olive oil. Mm. The white wine vinegar makes it smell so nice. So wine. An alcoholic. Have you ever put wine into a salad? Is that a thing that cooks do? I don't believe so. You never know. You'd pro you probably would. Yeah, because I'm an alcoholic. I don't know if you're an alcoholic. But I think you might be one day. You keep living in Germany with a bunch of miserable Some, people. Something, something to aspire to every day. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Did he just leave? Yeah, I, I left. I'm gone. Over. Hmm. No, we just watch your kitchen until it finishes. Yeah, well, we just what we have to find. I mean, I could just end the stream and take a picture. But I'm not sure. We'll see how bored people get. I could put the pinball donation thing on and make like a thousand quid, but that's manipulative, and I don't want to do that. You could make garlic bread. I don't think I have what it takes to to make garlic bread. Do you have bread? I have sliced bread, not baguette bread. I do have I do have half baked loaves. Do you have garlic? Yeah, I have a bit more garlic. Do you have olive oil? Yeah. Do you have cheese? <laughs> yeah. You don't, then you can no, cheese. garlic bread doesn't have <laughs> cheese. <laughs> garlic bread, bread doesn't have it does. cheese. No, it the doesn't. The best garlic bread has cheese on top. I have had garlic bread in pubs and from supermarkets, and none of it comes with cheese. It's already like mostly butter. It's because you, you get the cheesy crappy garlic bread. bread. That is your saturated fat for the week. I once ate garlic bread with peanut butter on top. It was great. It was. Uh, not yet, Aurora. I'm, I don't mind. I'm, I'm open to suggestions, but I, I don't mind. Garlic bread is good, but having cheese on actually, it would ruin it for me. I've actually been enjoying an interesting sandwich recently, which is just cheese and jam. It's pretty good. Do you not have bread? <laughs> That's a How would you even eat it? With a spoon? Yeah, you just mix the cheese with a spoon and then melt it together. And then you melt the amazing. spoon and the cheese. And then just drip in the dram. You melt the spoon. 
Yes, cheese and jam sandwich is surprisingly good. No, jam doesn't mix with cheese. I'm sorry, but no one's going to agree with you on that. It does. Try it. No, it can't. Also, some Philadelphia makes it really nice. I will I show you a picture of it later. Yeah. It's what I'm going to eat right after the stream ends. Lovely. I've never believed really in bothering with matching socks because realistically, nobody sees it, so it doesn't matter. And even if they do, everyone it sees it. it. Well, yeah, but only because I'm streaming. If you think of the amount of time and effort people put into like, keeping their socks matched and making sure they're the same ones, when actually they could just put on any socks and it doesn't matter, it's a lot more life you get. Well, you could just buy all the same socks and you don't have to match. In Germany, I swear to God. <laughs> I'd like what? some standard issue socks, please. Okay, go there to the sock selection. It's just it makes the life so much socks. easier. Fuck's sake. See, listen to Dark Crush 19. Dark Crush 19. Strawberry jam goes over to. Well, to be fair, I don't like cheese, so I don't think cheese would go well with anything. Thin. But, um. All your socks are the same. What, really? I have loads of different socks. I just never care if they match because it actually literally doesn't matter. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh, shit, the football's on. I forgot. What, is it us? Are we playing? No, it's Argentina and France. You just say Argentina? Yeah. Okay. A pack uh, of 20. One. There are packs of 20 socks? Yeah. Like industrial-sized box canister. It's the most efficient way of it getting socks. like a barrel. <laughs> 20 socks? Yeah, that's enough for three weeks. Would I get enough for three? Oh, you mean after, right. 20 socks or 20 pairs? When oh, I that's become rich from streaming, I'm going to make a sock kind of chain that just sells socks in odd numbers. For all those people that have lost socks, finally, They'll be able to actually fix that without having to basically lose another sock. It's going to be amazing. You can't. I wouldn't you mind twenty pounds on you. Buy an odd. Um, you can't buy like three socks. But with me, you could. Just what everyone's always wanted. Yeah, I think so. I think you could do a lot if you had no worries about socks in life. Well, I just don't lose my socks. It's not that hard. You probably just buy new ones instead of washing them. Well, yeah. Because newly bought socks feel the best. Newly bought socks feel the best? They do. Like the first time you put on a fresh pair of socks. It's no, the nicest thing. It should be the same as. It's not like reading a book where the smell. It should be the same as washing them, John. It's not. <laughs> well, it should be. You're not washing your socks properly. In fact, it should be nicer when you wash them because you'll have a really nice smell of the, the fabric softener and stuff. Whereas no, from the shop, the same. they're like they come out of a factory and have probably been worn by seven people that have taken them back. Lovingly created by a person in the factory. A person? What? Been Lovingly created by the person in the factory. Spewed out of a machine or a starving orphan. But with love. I mean, I'll match them if I can find them. If, if I look at my socks and I think, those two match, I will put them on. But if I have to spend more than three seconds doing that, I will just pick two random socks. Wait, you wash your socks before you wear them? Really? Hey, I mean, use a fresh sock. How many people, people wash clothes that they buy before they use them? And I'm talking fresh clothes, not like corpse clothes from like from from charity shops. That's a good question, Missy. Yes, I. I, I don't, because I don't mind. Like, it doesn't, I don't feel like they've, they're they polluted in any way. You should wash underwear. I never wash <laughs> No, um, what, before wearing it? I would yeah. probably underwear because I don't, well, it depends. If it looks like it's been worn before, maybe, but. You can never really tell, especially if you get it from Amazon or something. Yeah, but buying clothes from Amazon is terrifying because you don't know what size it's going to be. It's usually the size that you order. The smell is awful, really? Huh. Well, Essie, there are websites. If you've seen Orange, Orange is the New Black, you'll know what I'm talking about. But there are websites where you can buy worn underwear. Allegedly. How long have we got? 27 minutes. We're a third of the way there. Doing great. Hey, Nabu. 
You saw what? What's she talking about? I do have pants on under the apron. I could flash you guys. Look at that. I'm wearing actual shorts. There was a brief moment there where I was worried I didn't have shorts on. But I do. That's okay. Thankfully. Orange is a new black is great. And there's a new season coming out in like a few weeks and I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I could do you washing up. You should celebrate by making some cheesy garlic bread. I can't, if I have cheesy garlic bread and lasagna with your amount of cheese on, I would just keel over. It's you're not how life works. You're not allowed to self-harm on stream, so I'd probably get banned. You're being just like a mother right now. Oh, of course I am. No, she doesn't give a shit about like saturated fat. <laughs> She'll happily dunk two lasagnas. Right, um, and she's on toast. Uh, so, I mean, I have heart-baked bread, but I don't think I have baguettes. Could you do it with heart-baked bread? You could, couldn't you? Because that's designed to basically be cooked in the oven to the same consistency as garlic bread. I have no idea. Well, that's helpful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, lasagna and garlic bread is good. Yeah, it's coming out somewhere in, in July, I see the new season. And I'm fascinated to know what they're going to do with it because obviously the last season ended in something of a cliffhanger, as they often do. So I can't oh, imagine yeah, what that thing do. happened. Yeah, that whole thing happened. So I don't really know what, how they're going to recover from that. <laughs> but they're fine. I away. forgot what it was, but something happened. Yeah, I, like, I quite like the fact that with Netflix stuff, you get it all at once. They understand that no fucker wants to actually wait a week to find out what happens in a TV show, Hello, ever. Father. Like, it is a terrible format, and they should be ashamed. Thank you for the follow, Yip Shan Hoon. Is it the 22nd of July? Ooh, that's not far off. I'm going to do some washing up. If it's too loud, scream at me, but I might as well get on with it. I'll wash up some of it. Probably not the wok, though, because that's a lot of effort. So what are your plans for the rest of the weekend other than torturing yourself with League of Legends? That's basically it, actually. That, that sounds awful. No wonder you're drinking. I'm not actually drinking, you realize, apart from water. I mean, drink that is drinking. Yes, I'm consuming fluids. If that counts. Yes, I think that counts as drinking. But I know that the implications were that you were being an alcoholic on a Saturday afternoon. I never drink in the afternoon. Okay. I believe you. Right, what am I doing? I can't remember. Oh yes, I can return the bowl to the car. You should put the cheese gritter in the dishwasher because it's really hard to wash up. Yeah, I can imagine I would probably grate my fingers doing that. I've got to make sure I don't... There's so many wires everywhere, it's awful. What else can I wash? This, this, I can probably wash up that. Just have clean this. Salad will leave. Well, I'm going to put the salad probably in the, um, in the fridge. Well, no, I'll leave it here on display. That proves I've done something, you know? Hmm. I'll see this hand looking. I don't know, it's in the oven. Yes, but your oven has a glass door. Yeah, but it's, it's horizontal. Uh, it looks very much like you would imagine it would look. A lasagna from the side. Does it look like it doesn't have enough cheese on top? I can't. How can I see the top? How can I see the top of a lasagna looking into the side through an oven door? You, you get the what? angle unless you see the top. That's what? That's not an angle. It is. You can totally see it. No, it's only a quite a thin glass bit on the door. It's fine. I'm sure the lasagna is doing great. We could do an ask me anything, and they could ask you and I questions. As long as we can say no, that's fine. I don't know, I don't mind waiting so we can see what it's like at the end. I'm not going to eat any though, I'm going to save it for tonight. 
they seem oh. to be they seem to be having issues with you putting the pans in the dishwasher, but that literally only applies to really fucking old pans because every frying pan made nowadays is capable of being put in the dishwasher. I've never encountered a frying pan that can't go in the dishwasher. It's like your entire chat is filled with people from the 80s. Well, I mean, I'm from the 80s. True. But you can definitely put pans in dishwashers. Also, that pan is like probably yeah, that, older than that both of us combined. That pan is a lost cause anyway. I don't think so, no, Clive. Ask us anything, guys. What have you? What do you most want to know about our family, our upbringing? Oh God. We don't have to answer, by the way. <laughs> We're just trying to find ways to kill time until the lasagna comes out, and then you'll Wait, see the top of a lasagna, and then it'll just be melted is people, cheese. Is people born in like after two thousand that are old enough to be on the internet? Holy yeah, shit. they're they're the new millennials, except they're not anymore, are they? They're something else. Mm. I think we have a few of them. They're very young. And they have portable telephones. They think that Apple products are good. Yeah, but by the time a frying pan really deteriorates enough to be noticeable from a dishwasher, it's probably like 17 years old already. You just buy a new one for 30 quid. Yeah. Buy a new thing. I don't think I've ever had a pan that says, don't put in the dishwasher. Because that's what, what would you even put in this? Just plates? I'm pretty sure the golden child was neither of us. The golden child, no, yeah, Tim's the golden child. He lives in a yes, house he worth, is. he lives in a house worth three million pounds. So he is probably the golden child. Didn't he meet like um, Prince someone yesterday? He's, he's going there. like, yeah, is it today or yesterday? He's going to Buckingham Palace to get Accommodation was like, Prince Charles. Yeah, there was, pictures, there was pictures on Facebook of him in front of uh, Buckingham Palace. Yeah, he's going to get an aviation award for services to the country. He's probably mm. the golden child, but John can make lasagna and I sometimes make people laugh, and that counts for something. Yeah. He bought a drone worth 1,200 quid. Wanted to. I respect that kind of attitude. It's nice. <laughs> I mean, you bought a Vive for 600 euros. Yeah, but the Vive is going to be... I am probably already use it more than that. I showed Tim the VR and he thought it was amazing. And he's probably going to buy his own, I reckon. <laughs> he has a lot more room for it as well. He can just put it in his gym. Because he has a fucking True. gym. Yes, it has like four dining rooms. So. I have not been there yet. I want to go there, but it's just... It's difficult. I will. I think within a short amount of time, I'll probably just make myself go and have a look at his house. But I can take nice. pictures and pretend it's mine. That'll be good, won't it? I've, this is a really easy meal to make and wash up after. I've done it mm -hmm. already. I'm done. We've still got like 20 minutes to kill. Oh, so you can mass make the red sauce in like huge quantities and then freeze it. Oh, and yeah. That's even easier. Could you just, I suppose you could just put it in spaghetti bolognese the way it is, couldn't you? I guess. Same stuff. It's, I mean, spaghetti bolognese is almost the same as lasagna, isn't it? I guess. Yes. I don't really eat it much. Really? It's just basically, mm. instead of lasagna, it's um, spaghetti. The same. Doesn't have enough cheese. Well, yeah, that's one of the upsides of spaghetti bolognese over lasagna. Get less cheese. Quite nice. I'm so glad I have this fan on. I would not like this if it weren't for the fan. I shall have to be careful doing cooking streams in the future when it's too warm. Cooking streams are always... Those. What? Didn't know what could happen if you're hot while making food. I know, right? I might melt, and then I'd become the meal. Ah, quite therapeutic cleaning up after this. Like, looking forward to the meal. Except I'm, I'm going to have the meal with the the movie night later on. I think because that's I'm not really hungry enough for it now. I don't know what to watch. There's loads of suggestions in chat in in the Discord channel, but I don't really know how to pick one. Last week we just watched Terminator Two, which is good. I enjoyed that. 
but I'm unsure. I don't know if I want to do two movies. I quite like just doing one movie and then chilling out for the rest of it, but I'm unsure. What's your favorite movie, John? Mm, probably Ocean's Eleven. I like Ocean's Eleven. I, I didn't like 12 as much. And then 13, I only watched a bit of, and it didn't seem as good. I did wonder well, how... Better than, all better than Ocean's 8 or whatever it is. There's, there's an 8? Did that come afterward? It's the one where it's everyone is a woman. I didn't. I haven't seen that. I thought it was. How did they get sex changes? I don't understand. No, it's like an Italian new cast. But Ocean was the name of the guy. I guess it's in the version. I haven't seen it, but it's really bad. I mean, was it, was he leading them or not? No, it doesn't have him in it. Well, then why is it Ocean? I don't know because it's part of the same. I don't know heist thing, but it came out this year. Was it like a Ghostbusters thing where they just made them all female? Okay, it's the group of women are led by the sister of Danny Ocean. Right. Okay. I suppose, yeah, there were, it was fairly male-heavy, to be honest, the first few. Mm. I don't know. I didn't like... Um, I didn't like 13 as much, but I can't remember why. 11 was brilliant, though. The twist in 11 was wonderful. 11 was amazing. They also have Sandra Bullock in, which... Was it Sandra Bullock? Which one? The, the woman. Was it Sandra Bullock or Jennifer Aniston or something? I can't remember who it was. The woman was, um... who was married or dating the casino owner. The ocean fancied. I can't actually remember. Yeah. I thought it was Sandra Bullock, but I could be wrong. Chat will know. They know everything. They've got the internet at their fingertips. It's going to be nice that I don't actually have to wash up after I end the stream. Normally, after I end the stream, I have to take all the computer stuff out and then wash up. It's no, it was Julia, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Oh, okay. She was in Pretty Woman. And then the number 12 had Catherine Judy Jones. Well, what? Did they not get married in the end? Or not? Uh, number 12 also had um, Judy Roberts, and I think we also had Catherine Judy Jones as. Mm, Matt Damon's love interest. Oh right, was she part of the eleven, or did she not want to be a criminal? She was. She was a cop, I think. All oh, right. So was she not with Danny in the end? I can't remember. It's been a long time since I saw them. Actually. Yeah. Because Danny went to prison for a short while, right, at the end of eleven. Yeah, between eleven and twelve, and then he got out, and then he was with uh, his wife. Yeah, for twelve. Okay, but. Why didn't he get a very long sentence? Could they not prove that he actually did the robbery? It was something else, wasn't it? Like causing trouble? Yeah. I think he went to jail for something else. Something small. Oh, for breaking his parole. Oh, breaking um, his parole, parole yeah. Cause he yeah. Was out. yeah, that was it. And they couldn't prove that he stole the money. Yeah. Did the casino owner not like have him hit or something? Because I feel like he... Didn't it end with like cars chasing him down a road? Because they thought that he was suspicious of something. Thanks, Mr. I think they were just watching him, yeah, just waiting for him to spend his big money. Maybe we should watch that tonight. It is a great movie, but nobody Maybe suggested it. So if I do that, people will think it's some kind of dictatorship, which it is. But we yeah. don't want people thinking that. It is a great movie, but, though. But we just spoiled the entire thing, so... We didn't spoil most of it. Well, I mean, we everyone, spoil, everyone's we didn't, watched Ocean's Eleven. Everyone. We didn't spoil that big twist at the end. Yeah. The... <laughs> I'll never see that coming. I'll never see it coming. Thank you for the follow, yeah. uh, Danian. Appreciate it. Which who hasn't seen Ocean's Eleven? Hasn't seen Ocean's Eleven. Should we just watch Ocean's Eleven tonight then? Because it is an incredible movie. It's so good. Someone has suggested Ocean's Eleven in your Discord. Okay, good. That justifies it. No longer a dictatorship. Okay, we'll watch that then. Fuck it. We'll watch it at seven o'clock. That's in three hours. Three hours. That's the number of fingers that's three. How long have we got left? I didn't really spoil it, no. And you guys have probably forgotten most of what we said. Uh, we've got ten. I don't know if, why I'm bothering to wait for it to be done cooking, because I'm not going to eat it now, so all you'll see is just the top of a cooked lasagna. I will probably just take a picture. That would work. Using your mobile device. 
I'm a chef. I can be a chef. But yeah, okay, so we'll watch Ocean's Eleven tonight in Rabbit in Discord at 7 p.m. So if you guys want to watch that, just be on Discord and then follow the link. That'll be No, it's there on it yeah, no, it doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> I kind of just want to eat a cornetto, but I'll get screamed at if I do that. Ocean's also, One would be a great movie. Just, Matt, just, just a uh, really clever me. guy, <laughs> like like Snake in Metal Gear Solid, just going around doing it. Yeah. Also, you should eat your lasagna now because it'll taste better. Why? It's not cooked. Because everything tastes better when it's not reheated. Oh right. No. Yeah, but I'm not hungry. <sighs> see, I haven't I made am. cookies on stream for a long time. Oh no, I guess they the ones they weren't called cookies. They were called rounds or thicks or something. Heavies, that was it. They were called heavies. But, um, I don't know. I think I'll do a baking stream next. Cooking streams I prefer because I learn more. But baking streams are nice. But I'm trying to lose weight, so if I bake stuff, I basically have to eat it or give it away. And I did give most of the other stuff away, to be fair. But even so. Um, oh, I'm looking forward to it now. Lasagna and Ocean's Eleven. That's a Saturday evening right there. What more could you want? A can of Pringles? I have that as well. And Cornettos. You could have a piece of garlic bread. I have schlur. No, I can't. I can't have garlic bread as well. I have schlur as well. Schlur is really nice. But I've got I've got some tango to finish up. I'll do that now. While we're waiting, talking, doing absolutely nothing. Isn't schlur what you do when you're drunk? That's slur, which is yeah. This is quite flat at this point. I've had it for a few days, so it's not really fizzy. But it's it's liquid. Stay hydrated bot doesn't protect me anymore, so what happened to stay hydrated bot? We thought it was crashing the Vive software that lets me read chat while I'm in the ow, I'm in the Vive. But it oh. wasn't. So I don't know. We could bring it back. I don't know the commando. This is child proof. How do I open it? Squeeze pads and turn to open. Oh my god. That's so clever. It's a bit childproof. I don't think a child could get into that. Unless they used like a hacksaw, and they probably shouldn't have one of them. Hello. Thank you, Pixel Sorcerer, for the follow as well. Lisa retweeted a tweet that you couldn't agree with more. I can't look at Twitter on my laptop. I don't know how to set it up. Forget it with me. I'm just not logged into most stuff on my laptop, and it all either has two FA or I didn't know the passwords for it. Ah, uh, right. Oh, how long have we got now? Nine minutes. Hey, wasn't it ten minutes, like five minutes ago? No, it was eleven minutes, two minutes ago. This time takes a really long time to cook. Does it? Is, is 40 minutes that long? It's pretty long. If you're cooking like a big slab of meat, I guess it takes longer, but apart from that, yeah, probably. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So what's your second favorite meal to make for yourself? Assuming mm. lasagna is your first, which it might not be. Probably pizza. And what do you have on it? Do you just vary? Mm, my pizza is a abomination. You don't sound very proud of it. Is that only possible it's... with your microwave oven? No, I can get in the oven, but my pizza, first of all, I don't use tomato sauce, but I use barbecue sauce. That's not bad. And I, Barbecue sauce. And I, I have that with chicken three, pieces. Three different uh, layers of cheese, and then I have chicken, and I have um, bacon. Um, I have a bunch of green pesto, and I have sweet corn, green and pesto. I have peas, and then I have pepper. It's so basically twelve toppings. It's really good. Really bad for you. Green really pesto. Good. Just um, do you know? Presumably, that's like two meals. Um, it's actually four for me. So you just have a quarter of a pizza each time? Yep, but sweet corn and peas are great on pizza, and anyone who doesn't believe that is missing out on life. Sweet corn? 
Yeah. Oh, I didn't like sweet corn anyway. You didn't like cheese. Yeah, but sweet corn's gross. I've actually like avoided pizzas because they've had sweet corn, so I couldn't be bothered picking it off. Like, yeah, this, the most important thing is no pineapple on a pizza because that's disgusting. Yeah, it's disgusting. We can all agree on that. Yeah. But so you don't use your microwave oven. You just use your oven. Yeah, because when I make homemade pizza, I make it on like the rectangle um, pizza base, not the so it doesn't right. fit in my pizza oven. Yeah, I got a posh Tesco big like posh meal kind of do thing last week, and it had like a kind of oval shaped pizza that was really nice. It was way too big for me to eat by myself. I had to have it over two days. Hmm. Oh, hey, happy Christmas, Ritsu. Should I put a Christmas theme on my birthday? You'll have to be there. So I could just have Christmas alerts. We could have the, the Christmas, bells Christmas going. Christmas music, like... yeah. What do you mean? There's a Christmas uh, alert pop-up overlay you can get on OBS where everything's like got presents and themes. And... Yes, you will. You, you wouldn't miss my birthday. We got a um, Christmas tree for our office yes, uh, on Friday. You got a Christmas tree for your office on a Friday? Yeah, just as a decoration. See, hang on, I've got to read Essie's thing. I want flowers, but I don't need to tell you of flowers. Give me flowers. Please. Okay, so the, the message from that is that we should know whether or not our SOs want flowers. You should be able to read the mind. Is the message. Hey, I'm, SOs are a foreign concept to me, so I don't have to worry about that. But I can imagine it's a bit of a minefield. How do you tell someone that you want something when what you really want is them being thoughtful enough to know what you want, not the actual thing itself? I love Halloween. Halloween, I, I love what video games do with Halloween, where they make everything spooky. I love that stuff. But to, be fair, in, to be fair, in most relationships, you should just be able to tell the other person what you want and what will make you happy without it being a big deal. Like, you know, communication is important. I don't know anything about that. Flowers are nice. Nobody's ever bought me flowers. Like, what if your SO doesn't like flowers and I know would prefer like a League of Legends skin instead? Like, you have to communicate and stuff like that. What if they're allergic to flowers and they might die? Yeah, what if you send them flowers actually kills them? Yeah. What do I really want, Clive? I. That's a deep question. And it's not something anyone can get me. Hate gifting is the best kind of gifting. Hate gifting. It's like hate sex. I don't know what that means. Is it just gifting somebody something that they don't like? Who would do that? That sounds like a terrible thing to do. I don't think anyone's ever done that to me. Then again, I did get a massive, horribly pink card in the mail today from Moonpig, which I suspect is from Libby, which I'm not allowing myself to open until next Friday. I'm going to make a pile of things. I'll just not open them. If, it, if any kind of glitter comes out of any of them, I'm just leaving. I'm leaving being a streamer. See, Poop Boop Boop Beeper is the kind of person that puts things on her wish list, but then gets annoyed if you actually buy them for her. She has a wish list? She does, like on Steam and stuff like that. And does she have like, one on oh, Amazon? No. She's like, oh, I... and she does. And she's like, oh, no, I want this stuff. And then you get it for her. And it's like, oh, no, I didn't really want it. Well, to be fair... I think a lot of people just use the wish list as a, a memory feature of something they might want in the future, but cannot well, justify that. spending money on. Like, my Amazon that's wish list problem. isn't necessarily stuff I want people to buy for me. Most of it's way too expensive for anyone to ever buy for me. It's just a list of me saving links for one day when I become a millionaire. And yeah, they email you when they're on sale, don't they? If any Steam had like some way to follow games. Does it? I don't know. Does, I think it, e it, does. does it email you when they're on offer though? Not sure. I thought the follow feature just followed like their community hub or something. Gave you time on updates. Have I got a what? Yeah. I don't know what that is, Silvio. My Amazon wishlist is very, very short because 
either something is cheap enough that I'll just buy it, or it's too expensive, and thus I don't need many of them. I don't think yeah. it's very... I mean, I occasionally go on it and just add stuff, but again, if it's something I need, then I don't want to wait for it. So I normally, I, I'm just really bad at browsing on Amazon because I find it a website that's really hard to browse on. All of the related products are just the same product from different sellers. Can't, it's like walking into a shop and thinking, oh, look at that. That looks cool. Look at that. It's all just, everything is the same and there's like 50 of them. Uh, no, Clive, I don't think officially you can buy them on Amazon, but you can unofficially. It is for more, yeah. I think it's in my panels somewhere. Exactly, Essie. That's exactly that. If something's cheap, I'll just buy it. So there's no point wishlisting it. If it's really expensive, I will wishlist it. But then it would be far too expensive for somebody to buy for me. That's, that's the problem with wishlists. So mine isn't very long as a result of that. When I click on your wishlist link, I get sent to Amazon.de searching for Intel. That's not my wishlist wish link. That's my affiliate link. Oh. But you should use my affiliate link. Clive, Clive bought his entire, I'm, you know what, fuck it, we're wasting time, I'm going to sell out. Clive bought his entire PC on Amazon using my wishlist affiliate link. And it basically got like $50 for me as a donation. So, like, honestly, if you guys just use Amazon, and you live in the UK or America or Germany, or you use the German Amazon in your country, literally just a portion of what you spend goes to support my stream. And that is awesome. I don't I'm like shouting it out much because I don't like selling out, even though it's not selling out, but it kind of, some people might think it is. I'm just really insecure about this stuff. But yeah, if you guys just are using Amazon and you just use my link, it does support the stream and it's free. I think I'm not allowed to. I think it says your family can't use it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I can't use it and my family can't use it, but anyone else can. And it's just every time you buy something, it supports the stream. It's great. But they haven't paid out yet because you have to make $100 for them to pay out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much is on my Nessie, but I, don't, I tend not to expect people to buy me things. Wait, 20 quid, really? Are you sure? Okay, I think we're ready. Are we ready? The timer went off. I'm still not going to eat it though. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take, I'm going to get the oven gloves. Beth! Beth, you magnificent person. Thank you very much for the raid. Good afternoon, I appreciate that. How's it going? How did your Jurassic Park end up? I had to uh, prepare for my cooking stream. I've been making lasagna. I'm not very good at cooking from scratch, so my brother's been helping me. And we've managed to prepare a lasagna. By the way, guys, you should follow Beth because she's an amazing artist and she does all sorts of art stuff and leatherworking even, which is, some might say, a lost art. But she makes really cool guitar straps and stuff and she does loads and loads of art. But she's, she's cool. But yes, thank you so much, Beth. I appreciate the host. I'm just finishing up, actually. I'm, my lasagna is done, so I'm going to take it out of the oven and see if it looks fine. But I'm afraid I won't be going too much longer. It's too hot to be cooking on an afternoon like this, to be honest. I don't deal well with the heat. So we're going to turn the heat off. And it should be see how burns. it looks. It would never burn. I put too much cheese on, remember? The cheese is all burned. <laughs> Maybe it's burnt away. Oh, it's risen. It looks like a... I don't even know. That looks all right, doesn't it? It's meant to rise. That's why you put the egg in. I can actually great. see the fat that's come off of the cheese. You should put some more cheese on top, some parmesan. No, I shouldn't put some more cheese on top. That's barbaric. Yeah, put parmesan on top. Ah, oh, so. No, no parmesan. We could put a bit of parmesan, couldn't we? Mm-hmm. I, I don't mind parmesan cheese for some reason. I don't like most, but let's see if I can find... It deserves parmesan. It'll soak up the fat from the rest of the cheese. Yeah, but soak it, you'll still eat it. There's no point in soaking up fat if you're eating it anyway. That's not a thing. <laughs> it's just me, I'm a cook. It's a thing. Trust me, I'm a cook. It's, you can't just say, trust me, I'm a cook, when you're not a cook. I just did. I am a cook. I cook all the time. 
That doesn't make you a cook. A cook is someone that cooks for a living. I actually I have... can't find the parmesan. I found the grated. I don't use this shit very often. It's great dried grated hard cheese. But oh god, it's fine. I don't want parmesan anyway. It's gross. No, it's not. I don't mind parmesan. Hey, Nevi. Yeah, it's kind of come out all right. Have a lovely nap, Beth. Thank you so much for the host. I appreciate that. I hope you sleep well. And thank you for the follow to Woke to Tog. Hey, Navy, welcome back. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. I would cut a piece out of it, but it wouldn't really benefit us much. So I'm not going to have some now because I'm not hungry. It's the afternoon, but I will have some later on tonight. So tonight we're going to watch... Can you ban her? I should probably mod you because you're my brother, but... She keeps on talking about nutritional yeast flakes, like they're a good thing. Yeah, but she, yeah, right. she donates a lot, John. I can't just ban her. No, I'm joking. I can't ban her because she's a valued community member. I don't value how many, people. How, how many times have your mods banned me? When have my mods ever banned you? They ban me all the time, like for a few seconds to get rid of, you know. That's because you keep typing terrible things in my chat. Like, yeah. Merry Christmas. How dare I? No, V, it, when you come and visit, I will make you this lasagna and we will eat it and I will make you cheesecake afterwards. I promise you. Anyway, um, yeah, so tonight we're going to have a movie night. We're going to watch Ocean's Eleven at 7 p.m., which is in two hours and 40 minutes. So if you would like to come and watch Ocean's Eleven with us, then by all means do so. I'll eat my lasagna while I'm watching. But I'll do a Discord announcement and stuff. So You should um, put a link to your Discord since the bot isn't working. Uh, it's in the panels, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Thank you, Fomor. See, he's a good mod. Good lad. Pat him on the head. Best mod, Fomor. Yeah, except he thinks that 100 Mondays is 700 weeks. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, if he was drunk, that's a good excuse. Yeah, he was drunk. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's it. How long has this been? I'm not going to eat the whole lasagna. I'll have a quarter of it. Anyway, it's been a couple of hours. Thank you very, 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 very much. John is my brother helping me because he actually cooks from scratch a lot, whereas I don't. So he's helping me learn stuff. Anyway, have a wonderful afternoon, guys. Try not to get too hot. Stay hydrated. Thank you so much to John for helping me with this. I really appreciate that. Try not to drink too much alcohol. Thank you very much for the cheer purifier. I appreciate that very much as well. That's really kind of you. So, how do I live? What? I just eat, like, oven food, to be honest, Essie, mostly. If I just stick in the oven. I mean, I have made lasagna before. This isn't, like, my first lasagna. But this is a different recipe using fresh sheets of pasta and various other things. So Your there. first good lasagna? No, I made a good one before. Anyway, thank you to John for helping. Thank you to all of you for watching. I really appreciate that. Uh, cooking streams are a little bit more stressful than normal because of all the setup I have to do. But I like to do them every couple of weeks, maybe every three weeks if I'm feeling knackered. So... It always makes a nice change. Uh, but this is going to be covered up and cooled down. Uh, tonight there will, uh, won't be a stream because we're doing a movie night instead. But by all means, come and join. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the resubs and cheers and follows and, and all that. And I guess I'll see you guys either tonight or tomorrow afternoon for a regular stream. Probably Dark Souls. Uh, I like Dark Souls. Yeah. Yeah.